somebody just offered me an opportunity to go to Costa Rica to teach the friends fermentation. First thought that comes to your mind, write it down in the comment sections below before you proceed with the rest of this video. Are you curious about my response? An interesting offer that would require a lot more discussion to be sincerely considered. Firstly, is this something your friends actually want? Or is it a gift you'd like to give them? Who and what is my customer? Are you my customer? Are they my customer? I need to know those things. Secondly, in order for me to commit to this offer, I would need to be vaccinated and have a vaccine passport because that's the world today. And I'm not vaccinated, so I'm not sure how that would work. Thirdly, what would be the medium of energy exchange between you and I? Well, if you're my customer. I mean, is this a paid gig or is this room and board? In other words, you accommodate me with nice housing and food that I actually eat in exchange to teach. Fourthly, what is the safety and security of the place that I'd be going to? I'd be coming as a woman. I, I don't know. This is a man that offered it. So maybe he doesn't think of that things, but I do. I'm a woman. My safety needs as a woman probably are going to be different than the safety needs of a man. So what are the safety and security measures that are put in place and who's responsible for that? And is that going to be put in place before I get there? Or is something going to happen and then you think, oh man, we should have had some security in place. That's kind of important to me. Not last, but fifthly. Do your friends have all the equipment needed for fermentation? Or am I going to be expected to, like on a plane, bring everything to them? Like who and what's going to be responsible for that? So essentially what it comes down to is what are the terms? What are the terms of this offer? You see, for me, when I get an offer like this, I think it's just a whimsical idea because it doesn't have substance behind it. And yet, even with substance behind it, let me share a little explanation as to why I don't collaborate with, well, really anyone. At least, I haven't up to now. Well, I recently just collaborated with Link Asia to have my content viewed in parts of China. But beyond that, now in past, I have partnered with Kaferco and I think they had a, a loophole in their contract with me because what they didn't tell me is that they were promoting their product on Amazon and they didn't tell me that anybody that buys from me is going to pay an exorbitant amount in shipping. So essentially they used me for free advertisement. Now here's the thing about being used. If I know you're going to use me, at least I have the choice to agree or not. But if you don't tell me that you're going to use me and you deceive me, well, that's on you, not me. I mean, even with the companies that offer me, like Canon's offered me, Nike's offered me, so many different big names and names I've never heard of want me to represent them, or at least claim they do, at least in their initial letter, they claim they do. But there's not a lot of follow through. This is what I've discovered. There's not a lot of follow through. People come to me with offers that aren't genuine. So for public record, I am creating this video to anyone, whether you're a viewer of the channel because you're getting something out of the content, or if you're somebody that wants me to represent something that a product or service that you would like to offer through my channel. If your offer is not sincere, I'm not going to answer. I think you need to come to me with a lot more in your emails than what you're currently offering. Now that said, the big brands, they do have all that in place in their offer to you as an email, but there's not a lot of follow through. So even though it looks good on paper as an offer, I don't know, maybe they're lacking the follow through with their employees, or maybe these are just like they throw out a gazillion offers and maybe they're really just looking for that one or two few. And so they just kind of dismiss everything else. But you see, that's a waste of my time. 
that's devaluing me. So my advice to anyone that thinks that they want to offer me something with sincerity, please come to me with sincerity and follow through. And then maybe we can actually have a discussion.